Well, blow me, it's only the Leslie 122 Heritage. Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And guess what I've got today? That's right. Today I've had a visit from the good people at Hammond UK. And they've dropped off a rather expensive piece of kindling. Uh, of course it's not, it's the Leslie 122H. And later on there's another piece of Leslie work that I've got for you as well. So for today, let's have a quick look at this fella. Well... It looks just like a, a 122, doesn't it? It's fantastic. Obviously it has the word heritage in there, which is beautiful. It's pretty well made. It's quite nice. Bit of wood, a nice bit of uh, objet d'art. Is that the phrase? Lots of screws. Have a look what they do. And then down here, we've got a power amp that looks a little bit interesting. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange a little, uh, the camera a little bit more down here so we can have a bit of a look at what's going on. But I've actually played this one quite a while ago when I did a Hammond UK event down in Milton Keynes in the UK. And uh, I know it sounds amazing, but this one and a brand new one, in fact, could be yours if you go to Hammond UK right away. Okay, let's have a look. And we're back and I'm down. Not that I'm reading it, but I've got some stats for you. So as you'd expect, if you know about Leslie's, that's gonna be a 40 watt amplifier there. And it's going to have, it's got three tubes, it's got a preamp and power amp tubes. It's got a 12BH7 preamp, interesting. And it's got a 12AU7 power amp and a 6550 uh, power amp valve tube as well, two of those. 6550 is the ones that you'll expect to be in a Leslie 122. Okay, so have a quick look down here then, shall we? See what we can see. My, there's a lot of stuff down there. Can you see that? Okay. Whew, okay. Foot switch, foot switch type. 11 pin power remote on off. That's pretty cool. Cool, actually. That's not bad. Six pin control type. Slow stop. Slow fast. Slow fast. Uh, six pin input there. Never used one of those. Let me know if you've ever used one of those. I never have. I got a line input and a volume. You can see there's a lot more sort of real estate here. A lot more stuff on there, isn't there? Uh, then you've got uh, on, off, and you've got the uh, 122 type or the normal type. You've got its own power. Da da da! That saves me from putting power onto all of the 122s that I have because then not only can you run it in a different mode, you don't have to connect it up to an old console, Hammond, but um, also it's earthed, which we like, don't we? We like things that are earthed, you know? Quite nice. And there's your um, 11 pin as well, the modern 11 pin. So that's interesting. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hooking this up, not only to my C3, which is uh, behind me, but also to my XK5 as well, and uh, and see what it sounds like. Now, obviously this is, this is uh, given to me from Hammond in prestige condition, so clearly we can't unscrew it and have a look inside. Um, yes, so we, in England, right, you wouldn't believe it, as I was recording this, there was like a little bit of an earthquake, a bit of a tremor, uh, and uh, I tried everything I could, but all the screws came a little bit loose, and you know, it kind of it kind of all fell off. So you know, um, keep it between me and you. Obviously, I mean, couldn't help it, but I'll I'll repair it, so that's fine. Okay, um, this is a work of art, isn't it? Obviously, this isn't cheap. This device, this amplifier. In fact, I would go so far as to say it's on the other side of cheap. Uh, I could go even further to say it's quite expensive. Although Hammond UK have got it discounted as well. I've noticed that it's, it's the IRP on this is, is, is way high. My life, well, what have I found? Well, th this is all beautiful. We, we saw inside a bit, we saw a bit of this earlier on, didn't we? But it's uh, the, the layout is fantastic in there. I'll try and get some sort of B-roll shots of me delving in there so you can have a bit of a look at that. Uh, I do like the scrim cloth. That's really nice. The gauze is beautiful. It's nice to see a, a Leslie so clean. I don't think I've seen one that clean. And these supporting blocks as well are quite nice. Can you see these supporting blocks in here? These little right angles just holding all the bits together, which is beautiful. Uh, off the face of it, couldn't tell you what all that is. Um, clearly there's going to be a motor, there's going to be an output, and there's going to be an 800 hertz crossover, right? So that's, that's obviously what's going on now. Seamless cut there, but what we've been able to do is just move the move the camera a little bit because I want to show you this bit here. 
self-explanatory, but to self-explain, you need the earthquake that I've just had in order to get the, the, the back off it, right? So what you can do here looks quite similar to what you can do on the 3300. So there's a panel where the motor would be, and the motor is still there, it's just uh, behind it. And you can start to mess around with the rise and fall and the slow speed and the fast speed. And that's really interesting. Uh, and I also notice you don't have the two or three uh, variable um, grooves there on the top of that, can you see on the top of that spindle there, which you used to have in the old days just to mess around with the speed just slightly on the, on the 122. So you can do it all electronically. You can do it electronically because electronics are dealing with the motors. So it'll be interesting here later on if, if we've got a super whisper quiet motor and if we like that or if we do actually like a little bit of the grunge and a little bit of the dirt. I mean, guess, guess where I'm coming from on that one. Exactly. So, but we'll see. So that's quite nice. I'm not going to take this off. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to allow any more hurricanes to do any, any badness over here. Uh, but I just wanted to show you really that little section. It looks quite similar to the 3300 section as well, but with a slightly different uh, interface. The orders are the same. Up here, what you're expecting to see, really. Horn and blanking horn. Lovely. I missed the phrase oil here. Oh, no, it is there. Look, it does say oil here as well. Beautiful. I like that. This is nice. Oh, let's see, they've got the... This isn't metal anymore, this... Uh, idler tensioner thingy bobby um it's in plastic which is quite nice i guess if it breaks then i can get it 3d printed can't i mm, okay but that's all the standards thing there the the motor from the top looks really really pucker really nice and strong as well beautiful you can't really see what's uh, the motor on that side i assume it's uh let's have a let's have a quick look underneath yeah okay so that's the uh, that's the cover for the motor down the bottom there. Should we be able to see that? Uh, so that's the motor, that makes perfect sense. And there we go. So um, on the whole, really nice piece of kit, isn't it? Looks beautiful. It's lovely to see a, a, a 122, albeit H, completely brand new. Can you imagine what it would have been like in the olden days, being able to get hold of a 122 and just have a look inside it? Fantastic. So the next thing to do really, next time we see you, is to, I'll reassemble this, you know, as a favour to, you know, the English government for the weather and what have you. I'll reassemble it all and we'll get it spinning a little bit and we'll have a listen to it. And then maybe what we'll do then is we could compare it to a, a 122. Try to use the same microphones and uh, try and play the same pieces of music and we'll be cut between them. We could even drop a 3300 in if you wanted to, couldn't we? And have a listen to how they all sound. So uh, let's have a bash with that. So for the moment, we'll put all this back together and then we'll see what it sounds like. How's that sound like to you? Brilliant. Okay, a couple of things just to mention at the end. Um, if you do like what I do, please like and subscribe and ring the little bell. Uh, it's really important. It gets my video shown to other people who may want to see it. So thank you very much for that. And should you want to buy me a cup of coffee, you're very welcome to. Thank you very much. I do like a flat white as it goes. And you can do that by visiting Nick Foley UK on Patreon and you can give me a cup of coffee there. Okay, super. Right, well, I'll, I'll put this little fella back together again, and then we'll start spinning it and see what happens. See you next time. Ooh, and I'm down.